Hello and welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Lady Sindi. President Ilham Aliyev attended the opening of the Republican Tuberculosis Sanatorium for Children and Adolescents named after Professor Gindes in Baku after major overhaul. The sanatorium operating since 1914 is fully prepared to receive people who want restore their health. A new five-story building has 300 beds. The health facility will have laboratories equipped with modern equipment, X-ray rooms, clinical laboratory and physiotherapy departments. The sanatorium accepts children in the age groups up to 6 years and from 7 to 17 years. It will also provide for the 11-year education children undergoing hospital treatment, thus ensuring the continuity of the educational process. President Ilham Ali viewed conditions created in the sanatorium's physiotherapy and X-ray rooms, clinical laboratory, canteen, assembly hall, library, wards and classrooms. Azerbaijan is one of the countries with the best organizations of measures in the fight against tuberculosis. Our country adopted a state program and a national strategy to combat tuberculosis, which is one of the key public health issues in our country, built specialized medical facilities and applied a modern approach. Examination and treatment of officially registered tuberculosis patients in our republic is carried out at the expense of the state. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, viewed conditions created at secondary school number 87 in Serhani district of Baku and with the conditions created at newly built school complex number 35, the new block of which was built in the Simi district of Baku. It was noted that though the repair works had been carried out at the school, which was built in 1928 at the different periods of time due to the congestion, there was a need for major overhaul. There were 54 classrooms at the school with a capacity of 790 pupils. In connection with the implementation of the executive orders of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, dated 5th of May 2020, 8th of May 2021 and 27th of April 2022, on the measures on construction, major overhaul and restoration of educational institutions in Baku and its settlements, the school building underwent major overhaul and the old building was demolished and instead of it a new building was built. The 2,304-seat school is fitted with all the equipment. The state-of-the-art school building to be commissioned in the new academic year includes 82 classrooms. The four-story building has classrooms, labor, military, drawing, medical, music and teachers' rooms, laboratories, library, canteen, sports, aerobics and assembly hall. The school is fully supplied with necessary furniture equipment and visual aids.
The secondary school number 35, which has been in operation since 1931, has just been completely rebuilt. The old building of the educational institution built in 1931-1935 was knocked down and a new one built instead. A total of 24 classrooms, computer, labor, military training, foreign language, music, drawing, medical, physics, chemistry and biology laboratories, a library, a canteen and an assembly hall have been established in the new school building for a total of 888 pupils. The total area of the four-story building is 5,454 square meters. President Ilham Aliyev viewed the military training room, the echo class, biology, computer and drawing classrooms, the canteen, as well as labor and physics rooms of the new school building. The Hedad Ali Foundation, which is exceptional services in the development of education in the country, continuously supports the strategy implemented since 2005 within the framework of the program A New School for Renewing Azerbaijan. About 40 international travelers from more than 20 countries have started their visit to Karabakh in eastern Zangizur, which were liberated from the occupation. The delegation is headed by Charles Willey, the founder of the most traveled people club of the U.S., one of the four largest travel clubs in the world. International travelers initially visited Shusha. There they got acquainted with the construction works carried out by Azerbaijan in a short period of time in places destroyed as a result of Armenian vandalism. Later they left for Agdam. It should be noted that the trip of travelers will last three days. They will also travel along Khojavan Fizuli, Zengilan Jabrail routes. The visit is of exceptional importance in terms of promoting the liberated territories within the framework of dark tourism. The 14th Summit of Women Speakers of Parliament continues in Tashkent. The summit, dedicated to the topic Parliamentary Leadership, Eliminating Risks to Move Effectively, Ensure Sustainability and Prosperity, is attended by women parliamentary speakers of the UN, the Interparliamentary Union and its member countries, and influential members of the OEC Parliamentary Assembly. Chairperson of the Senate of the Supreme Assembly of Uzbekistan, Tanzila Narbaeva, drew attention to the relevance of the issues on the agenda. She highlights that the event in terms of preparing constructive proposals for the elimination of serious social and economic crises, especially new risks caused by the pandemic, and determining effective measures for the joint implementation. Delivering a speech on the topic, eliminating risks to post-pandemic global recovery, Chair of the Mili Majlisai Begafarva noted that today the women speakers of the parliaments have the opportunity to discuss globally important issues. The world is now entering the post-pandemic period and today we must act together. We need to strengthen mechanisms based on equal rights, opportunities and security in the economic recovery. Parliaments play an important role in the context as a bridge between governments and societies. The joint efforts of elected representatives of the people, the government and civil society are of great importance for the sake of common goals. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.